Today I'm going to be making a beautiful spring floral hanging basket for outside. And I have this green form here. This was a table center piece and I'm cutting off all these little pieces that flowers were attached to. I used those flowers to make my Easter cross and as soon as I saw this form when I removed all the flowers, a hanging basket was the first thing that popped into my mind. So after I get all of those little pieces cut off of this form, then I will be putting some E6000 glue into the bottom of it and using this plastic bowl that my watermelon chunks came in from the grocery store. And that is going to be the base of my basket. Once I have my E6000 glue in, then I'm going to add some hot glue, and this will just make sure that the plastic bowl stays in place while the E6000 dries and cures. I have some old moss and some old floral foam that came out of a basket that had a tree in it at one time and I will be using that to fill up the inside of the basket and to fill up around the outside between the bowl and the form. But before I do that, I have these really pretty wisteria branches that my aunt picked up from a bin store and gave to me. And what I'm going to do is I am going to just sort of eyeball and see how long I need my stems to be and then cut them accordingly. And I did end up cutting these at three different lengths just to give it a little dimension. Once I'm finished cutting all of that, I will be gluing this floral foam into the bowl. And I'm putting it moss side down since the bowl is clear. I'm also trimming the top of the foam so it doesn't stick too far up out of my basket. Once this is done, I'll be taking some of my moss and I will be tucking it in between the clear bowl and the form, the green form. And then I just sort of shift it around to adjust it so it covers everything. 
Now I'm ready to insert my wisteria branches and I'm going to be putting some hot glue on these. That is just so that they will really be secure inside this foam, especially with this foam being as old as it is. Now I'm bending this one branch just to kind of see how this is going to work and where I need to position my branches. Once I've done that, I'll be adding the branches all the way around and filling in as much as I can. My pink hot glue gun bit the dust during this project, but fortunately I had another one on hand. And then I'm taking some just green leaves that I have and I will be gluing those in to fill in those bare spaces. I'm going around the edge of the basket with the leaves and then I will be adding some more in the middle. I'm using my scissors to tuck these down in there because I did blister my thumb on the hot glue when I started adding these green leaves. So be careful when you're using the hot glue, hot glue gun. Once I have that finished, I just have some white cotton string that I had on hand, and I'm going to be cutting four pieces long enough to be able to double to use as the cords to hang the basket with. So I probably cut these around two feet long each. Once these are cut, I'll be adding a string through two of the little rings that are around the edge of the floral form, which is the green basket.
and once I've run my string through two of those that are side by side then I will be just tying a knot at the end. And then I'll do the same thing with the other three strings and have them evenly spaced around the basket. Once they're all on, then I'll be grabbing all four pieces and bringing them together over the top of the basket and once I've done that I will just tie a single knot with all of them together. And this creates our hanger. Now you can get fancy with this if you want. You can braid your cord, you can do macrame, you can do anything that, like that that you want. I just wasn't ready to do all that today, so I'm just using this string as is. Once I have my string tied, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna be hanging this on a hook in my kitchen ceiling, and this is only so I can go around the basket and I can bend all of the wires on the wisteria so they hang properly. Then I took it outside and hung it up and I had these flowers that were in a pot that I have outside and I'm just cutting a handful of these off and I will be filling in the rest of the basket with these. And this is the finished basket. I think it turned out so pretty. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day, and please don't forget to like and subscribe.